Crystal and I sometimes practice our psychic and intuitive abilities or skills while watching paranormal or true crime TV shows. I'll show you how to do it here. It's fun and feels pretty cool when you start getting hits. I'll explain all of the steps first so you know what to expect, and then when we get started, I will go over it as we go. If at any time I'm going too fast or you're receiving information that you need to record, pause the video. Okay, so first you get limited information about what you're going to tune into. Usually it's just a name or a single photo. Once you get this, you'll get meditative and turn on your psychic abilities. I suggest you just use your intention and imagine flipping a psychic switch. Once you've turned on for this exercise, everything that pops into your head is potentially a psychic impression about the target, so you need to write that down. After finding out what the target is, tuning in and writing your impressions, we're going to do my usual wandering around the location, talking about my impressions, and getting EVPs. While we're doing this, keep writing your impressions and marking your hits. We may get different information, and that's okay because there are different times, different angles and attitudes you're getting. You might be getting information from a spirit who has limited info about something. And once we're done, you'll probably want to research the location to see what other things you hit on that I didn't mention or that weren't shown. And be sure to share your impressions in the comments. The more outlandish and random, the more likely it is accurate. All right, here we go. This is Fort Bridger in Wyoming. I'll give you 60 seconds to turn on and write your impressions. That's anything and everything that pops into your head. Pause the video if you want more time. All right, here we go. Continue to record what you're getting while we explore the grounds and give yourself hits for anything you see here or that I talk about. And when we're done, Google Fort Bridger to see what else you got. Oh, and one last thing. This text is EVP captions that I hear while editing. If you want to hear them, I suggest you listen with headphones. So I'm in the, uh, in the Fort, Fort, Fort Bridger. I'm in the commissary. It's the first place I'm looking at. There's this tapping. Sounds like water dripping. But also reminds me of in Aliens device that's picking up that the aliens are coming towards them. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know what it is. Okay, while I was walking in here, I was rushing in here because they close. They were saying, if you want to go in any of the buildings, you have to rush over there. And it's like, okay, all right, I'm on it. I'm going to do it. So, uh, so yeah, I'm on it. I'm doing it. And, um, Somebody was excited and following me along, excited about me being here, about me doing it. Let's see if I can tune in and pick up these people. So I'm asking about the fort and hearing something about Brigham, Brigham Young. So it was to say Mormon fort? Well, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a sign saying something about the road to Zion, about Mormons. In 1847, Brigham Young led an advance party of, I can't read it, at Fort Bridger, Wyoming. They departed from the Oregon Trail to head southwest to the Great Salt Lake. 
So this was part of the route, I guess. That's cool. So I am hearing a little bit. I'm Brett, I'm a psychic medium, and I like to film my interactions with you guys. So if you would like to participate, if you would like to interact, please talk to my guides and follow their instructions. Uh, they'll let you know what you should and shouldn't do. Um, rabbit, wild rabbit, what do I do? What do I do? See you, rabbit. Uh, this is all a recreation, I believe. I think it's all rebuilt. Said I could go in the house. I see no house. Oh, it's a reflection, reflection of my lens in this building. So what, what was the last date that this was used um, as a fort? hearing something like 1948. Is that correct? 1948? Did they have a porta potty back then? In the fort? Doesn't seem... Doesn't seem likely. A fiberglass porta potty. So 1948. Um, what was the most exciting thing to happen here. Again, something about Brigham Young. What about the second most impressive thing? I need to push this up against the glass to be able to see inside. I feel like uh, I'm not sure if I'm getting Roosevelt or somebody like Roosevelt visiting. But it's these visitors. Did you have any problems? Did this fort have any problems? Uh, what was, what's the word? What is the word? I feel like I'm hearing a word like skirmish. I don't know if they're saying there were a bunch of skirmishes or if it's, um, or if that is a Native American word. Was I hearing the flag from way over there, right here, or was that another noise that was closer? So yeah, I want to find this building. If there is a building, that might have been it. And it's fine. I'm just rushing through stuff right now. I'm hearing that noise again. So what was the most exciting thing? Just ask that. I'm spacing. So what was your job? Who, who is with me? Who is with me? So who was with, who? 
Who is with me? What was your job? Please don't use your name. There are a number of us with you. All right. And what did you do? Soldiers? You're using the word regimen? What regimen? I'm seeing 38 on a brown, on a brown sign, like, like one of these signs. I'm seeing 38, but I was hearing 40. Oh shoot, I lost it. 41 maybe? guard, the guard's room. The beds are slanted to ensure that the guards would not fall asleep while on guard duty. Saying everybody had to be a guard. Everybody had guard duty. Does anybody like it here? Or actually, what I'm getting is that somebody does like it in here because it's dark. An F name, they leave them alone. Can you say your, well, don't say your name. I'm getting an idea of somebody Going back there with a girl. Like, that was like, I had a girlfriend and they'd kind of go back there and flirt. Flirt, is that the right word? Regimen, 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 41, what? What did, yeah. It's a trippy, trippy place. I don't know what I'm looking at or looking for. Parade grounds. Infantry barracks. Can you show me what this place was like when you were here? Yeah, I mean, whoever. Whoever can talk, whoever can show me. I'm seeing kids playing cowboys and Indians running around. Did you have a lot of kids here? Yes, they're pointing out that it was a Mormon, Mormon fort and it was part of the trail. This was a stop on the trail. So they had wagons and wagon trains would come through here. Lots of kids. Did you have walls all the way around? No. How did you deal with any sort of threats?
heard something like we'd shoot them and take something. What would you take? Was, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hearing. Shoot them and take something. And they would take something to... Um, as a... I don't know. And I don't know what they would take. They would take something from them. What's the word? They would take something. Well, it was to try to get the, whoever the threat was. And I'm seeing Native Americans. I'm seeing... I'm getting Shoshone... Um, I'm, I think I'm inserting Ute, and just because I seem, and I got a twinge on the finger. Just heard a buzz in my ear. Killed by Modoc Indians. Okay. There's a massive building over here, so this is something to go look at. Oh, and another one. Wow. This is pretty extravagant for uh, a fort. So did the town, was the town built around the fort? I was thinking inside the fort. Did the fort have walls all the way around? I thought I heard no. Not when I was here, okay. So 1890 was when they stopped using the force, the the fort, or the force, I guess. Could be it too. asking what I'm doing here. Pretty extravagant. This this wasn't this ain't nothing. folks who don't think they're supposed to be here so they're kind of in a panic if I'm correct tell me if I'm not tell me that too
would it get hot here? So we use the word dreadful. Where did you get your dresses? I'm assuming that was a butterfly landing on my arm. Where would you get your dresses? And if it was not a butterfly, touch actually down my arm so where did you get your dresses and they would trade who would you trade with some of the wagon trains coming in they would trade with them and get new dresses what was the most popular style dress Where I heard a dude say something about tweed or something. What is tweed? I mean, like, isn't that like polyester or something? It's made of plastic. Should I? Let me look at you. didn't want to be looked at. That's cool. What would you like to tell me about this place? This is the best time of somebody's life. Who, don't use your name, whose life? A lot of us. And then I also, is this a slave? Am I seeing a slave here? I feel like I'm getting that there was a, no, they're, f they're free, but they worked as a slave early on. Wow, this is like a, it's like a psycho house. <laughs> it's a movie. It's famous. So yeah, somebody came that used to be a slave. Not of the people that were there. doing the whole, what are you doing? Filming. 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 I'm getting that same like we aren't supposed to be here kind of vibe from some people. A couple of guys. What was that? It's 
really weird noise. Whoops. I know, somebody's saying that the missus would be so mad. to spend the night looking for spirits. I feel like I'm hearing the ex-slave. Yeah, I can't use your name, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, Yeah, well, nice to meet you. So where's the rest of the cemetery? Somebody said all around you and somebody said uh, to the north in the woods. I don't know if there are woods there anymore. To the north in the woods. We'll have to see. It's, that's pretty neat. So do you live here at the fort? No, just visiting. Somebody's saying, I do. What is the afterlife life <laughs> like? I'm not even allowed to ask, really. Or they aren't allowed to answer. Yeah, like to the, to the viewers, I feel like there are so many of these cool little spots all over the place. And you don't have to go at night. Just go and see what kind of vibes you get. Watch my other videos to learn about the different kinds of vibes like clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, clairaliance, clairgustance. And you can kind of figure out what your strength is and then pay attention to that and pay attention to images that pop in your head or words that happen to pop in your head or songs, colors. If you are feeling a certain way, pay attention to your emotions. That's a massive wagon, as wagons go. Pay attention to your emotions, your attitude. Because maybe it's not your emotions or attitude. Maybe it's not just some song that popped into your head. Maybe somebody's putting it there or you're picking up on something going on around you. And if you just know something, pay attention to that because you might just know something. You might be, you might have uh, 
knowledge of these places. Anyway, I've covered everything super quickly. The milk house. I can't get in there. What? School. 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 Bazam. Bazam. All right, I should probably go before I'm kicked out. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. So how did this go? Did it work? Did you get stuff? Tell me in the comments. And should we do this again? All right. Thanks for watching.